I'm here to work, Stella. Hi, Robert. Give me a hand. I need you to take the book cart around today. William Blake. That's right. It's the cover to Songs, Songs of, of Experience. experience. <laughs> <laughs> Never expected to find a Blake fan in here. I'm sorry, I have to ask, why are you here? Why would you work in Oz as opposed to some city library where you wouldn't be surprised to find a Blake fan? Well, one day about a year ago, I was home taking a shower and I heard a noise. I came out of the bathroom and there was this kid standing in the hallway with my DVD player. There I am, au naturel, and though I consider my body a beautiful sight, the kid freaks and jumps out the window. He twists his ankle. A couple of minutes later, the police pick him up. It seems he's robbed other people as well. So I go downtown to testify some pretrial thing. And there's the kid, Germaine, so small, so sweet, sitting next to his mother. I think he's going to jail. Then I think, Christ, he can have my DVD player. You could have dropped the charges. I did, but everyone else held firm. I went and visited Germain at juvenile detention, and I said to him, why aren't you in school? And you know what he told me? He couldn't read. I broke my heart. I went to Plymouth House every week and taught him. And he took to words like a plant to rain. His mind was so sharp, so alive, so thirsty. It's wonderful. He got stabbed and died. And even though I knew there were others like him in Plymouth, I couldn't go back. I also know I couldn't stop what I'd started. So, ta-da. You came to a place filled with old books and bad attitudes. The truth is, Robert, every book on these shelves is new to someone who hasn't read it. You know, Blake, he said, there is a moment in each day that Satan cannot find. That's right. You know what my ultimate goal is? To make that moment last a lifetime. Mm.